Shredder Industrial Electronic Shredder, and it's got a new name. Sun King's Director of Marketing, Robert Burns, is here to tell us all about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you guys were talking about Maxwell earlier. Let's switch gears <laughs> yeah. and talk about Eddie Van I'm Halen. I'm glad you were listening. Of course I was. How did you not watch the show? But yeah, we've got this new name for our electronic shredder. It's called Shreddy Van Halen. We had this contest earlier, uh, earlier about a month or so ago, where yeah. we let people email us in some submissions, some names. We got about 200 names out there, and it was really great because we got to see a lot of engagement. People mm -hmm. who didn't think about electronics recycling mm -hmm. were getting clever yeah. and they were having fun with it as well. And so we had Shreddy Van Halen was like the fifth one that was submitted. I like the uh, runner up. You like uh, Shreddy Krueger. Shreddy Kr That's because she's a horror film fan. I was going to say, if we did this in October, yeah. Shreddy Krueger might have actually come out on top. But yeah. Shreddy Munster was in there, Sir Chomps a lot, which <laughs> I was a fan of because yeah. of Sir Mix a lot. But Shreddy Van Halen ended up coming through. He's got a great mane of that hair works there. Too. Also, it does. fifth yeah. place we should give an honor will mention Slim Shreddy's not bad. It's not bad at all. And the best <laughs> part really was is clever. initially we had name tags that said my name is. So yeah. it made absolute sense. Like, hi, my name is. That's so cute. So we've got the winner. She's coming on Friday to mm -hmm. meet Shreddy Van Halen. She's yeah. going to brand him for us. we got a cool sticker for us, some swag bag, and some tickets to Darien Lake for her. And uh, we've decided we're going to do it again next year. So yeah. obviously this is a fun contest and kind of raising awareness about what mm -hmm. you guys do. But talk about the importance of kind of getting through to people about recycling their electronics. Because we were talking during the break about how a lot of people kind of just throw items in the trash because they don't realize that they can recycle things and it's important that these things get recycled. Yeah and this is the time of year where everybody has to start thinking about that. It's Earth Month, it's Earth Week, Earth Day is this weekend so those little things you have around the house, the phone cords, you know I brought some props here. We have air tags that they're going to be about a year old at this point and so the battery's going to run out. Mm -hmm. Some people may think to throw them in the trash. That's not the best idea. So this is where we want to try and remind people every year there are those things around the house, those things that we don't think that we should recycle that we sure. really have the opportunity to and the chance to do it for free as well. So yeah. look around at spring cleaning. We're all going to start doing it. We're all going to start pulling up stuff saying, I haven't used this in how long? Yeah. Right. What does this cord time. go to even? Yeah. Nobody knows what that cord goes <laughs> Nowhere. to. Nowhere. No one knows. It's just sitting there in the living room yeah. on the wall. So yeah. uh, it's an exciting time. We've got those events that Happy to announce right now that yeah. our first one in Rochester is going to be in Webster on June 4th. Mm -hmm. And so you can sign up, pick a 15-minute drop-off time slot for that, come through, and we'll take all your stuff. I have seen people rent U-Hauls to bring their large TVs from the basement or the backyard wow. yeah. because it's cheaper to do that than to go to some other place and mm -hmm. pay 15, 20, 50 bucks, whatever it is. Yeah. Because yeah. we just take it, no questions asked. Yeah. So this is a great time to unload everything. What else should people be mindful of not putting in the trash? Because maybe it could be toxic and it's something that just needs to go off to a special site like yours. Yeah, especially batteries too. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we don't necessarily recycle batteries, but we're able to push those batteries along to the right people. Mm -hmm. So don't bring them to us if you don't have to, but like this drill right here, it's got a battery in it. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll take that, we'll find the place to drop it off to, but those double A's, those triple A's, we're not recycling those, but we also want to be conscious of that as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you have those tube TVs. Don't leave those out on the curb. Don't yeah. put those out near the water. Those are not what do you want to do. Do people still have the tube TVs? We There's got a lot of them. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. we are still I was going to ask you, up what, what are some of the, the unique items that, that you guys see when you hold these recycling some events? Some of the things I can't say on TV, but we get a lot <laughs> of very interesting stuff <laughs> that people can, will can recycle. We get, can we get a shot of Alexis's <laughs> face there? Her, her shock and all. That's what TV is about, shock and all. <laughs> It's like, what? No, of course. No, we got electric toothbrushes. We yeah, get sure. all different types of stuff that, you know, household <laughs> items, electric shavers, uh, the back massagers, the muscle um, massagers that oh, we yeah, have now. Yeah. Those are things that we're starting to see more of as well. Wow. So a lot of things that have batteries, have plugs that you don't think of. Yeah. Again, we get those and we push them so along to the right So just think twice before you're just tossing random stuff yes. out into the trash. Just think about, oh, there's a place for this. Yes. There is. A few seconds left. Where can people go for more information? Go to sunking.com or sunking.com slash events that's where you'll find the event schedule sign up for the right spot we have another one in batavia as well always free for you as well robert you you've been such a treat i like <laughs> you should come you. back anytime yes. thank you <laughs>